I don't need therapy. I'm in the best mental shape imaginable. Do you hear me, you piece of paper? I'm in the best imaginable mental shape. Hello, V Gates. Welcome back to Bex Plays and then Harvey the Breakout. If you weren't with us last time, we met a very dangerous man who may or may not be Hannibal Lecter in this universe. And he, we have an escape plan. Uh, we need to find gold, clay, the master key, um, something soft to land on when we fall, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so we got our escape plan. And I know where to find most of the items, I just don't know no... I just don't know the puzzles and order events in order to get said items. So let's uh, wander around until we find something and something happens. Now, one of the items we need is clay. And in order to get clay, we need that shovel. So what's in here that we can activate? <laughs> okay, why not? Can we pick this up? Yes, we can. There's only one choice available. Stinky drink. Man, this barkeeper has the worst chicken scratch since Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee had the tiger claw, Edna. No wonder you couldn't read it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's just use whatever Ketchup items we can. Ketchup isn't on the menu. Maybe you get some with the stinky drink. All right, let's just use all the items on all the items and see what happens. Mustard is not on the menu. Maybe you get some with the stinky drink. A couple of patterns can't hurt. Oh, it's not actually cut. What shall I write? Oh, we can actually write something. Walk through. Walk through. Okay. Can I give it to him? Will he give me a walk through now? Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? Uh, one walkthrough, please. One walkthrough, please. It's not on the menu. Of course it is. Bright and clear. See? What? Let me see. We have a little joker here. That's not my handwriting. You've written that yourself. Admit it. No. Do we need to write something else? What shall I write? Let's write the garble. Biggity buggity boo. Okay. How about now, buddy? Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? Uh. A biggity buggity boo, please. It's not on the menu. Of course it is. Bright and clear. What? Let me see. We have a little joker here. That's not you've written. Okay, so we need to figure out his handwriting now. Hey, buddy, uh, you want some chips? Are you hungry? No, thanks. The lift offers plenty of resources to the absorbent piece of clothing. <laughs> what resources might those be? Crustaceans. The next exit is approaching. Ew. We need to figure out how to open these, get these things in our inventory. Are you hungry, Harvey? Not really. It feels like I've got a stomach full of cotton balls. You kind of do. These are exceptionally crumbly ones. Um... Would you like some scissors? You could make a great ghost costume out of him. 
Too bad he's out of my reach. The next exit is approaching. Oh. You want some mustard? Ketchup? Oh, geez. The next exit is approaching. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Can I get it with the mustard, too? That's strange. Where's Mr. Frock? Aw. Ma uh, he's gone now. I messed up. I'm sorry. Wait, is that washer? I'd break every bone in my body if I did that. Aw. Wait, the washer's on. Did he put himself in the washer? How did he get down? Can I do anything with you two? You want some chips? Would you like some potato chips? No. It's a bad habit to eat chips in bed. You get crumbs all over the bed sheet. And if you get crumbs on the sheet, they'll take it to the laundry quicker than you can say. Unchlorinated bleach. The laundry is in the basement. Where they take weeks to clean it. Did you say weeks? Yes, I did. This one here is the last clean sheet until the beginning of winter. That's terrible, honestly. Okay, so I think this is the soft thing we need because they won't shut up about it being soft and stuff, so... I think we need to get them off the bed somehow, and I don't know how. Do you need any ketchup? No. We stopped eating in bed. If you soil the bed sheet, the laundry isn't where they t Did you say- Yes. This one here- Hmm. I also think I probably need to eat in the bed or something, maybe so they don't want it anymore. Like, that's the thing with this game. If you use everything on everyone, eventually they'll say something. Like, they'll keep going back to the hint of what you're supposed to do, which is good. I like that. Would y'all like some scissors? Stop fidgeting for a moment. I have an idea. You're free! Wow! <laughs> What's going on? What have you done? Are you a surgeon or something? Oh my god! We've saved these Siamese twins! Amazing! He's magically grown an arm too, apparently. What's wrong? You're free! Each of you guys can do whatever you always wanted to do. Oh, the wealth of possibilities. And the accompanying pressure that comes with it. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Well, at least now they're free. Do we still have the scissors? Yeah. I don't think this game removes items from your inventory just because you use them. So I'm thinking that's why the inventory slot's so freaking big. So is there anything in here? Oh, wait, the hose. Do we need the... We need to get the hose. That was weird. Look, Harvey. Eek! A snake! Come on! Activate the inventory! Let's catch it and leave it under Dr. Marcel's chair! Okay, let's do that. Activate the inventory. Um... We did snip it, though. <laughs> I guess it was just an environmental thing, though. <laughs> we ruined that hose. What? I don't believe it. The scissors don't even leave a scratch. If only I had some gasoline and a chainsaw. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool, they're gone. I just been wandering around through the floors waiting for something to happen. Or looking for something, you know what I mean. Like using everything on everything. Can I just pick it up? Though I can think of a thousand ways to use it, 
I still think it's too bulky to lug around. Um. Now you can pick it up. Though I can think of a thousand really? ways to... Really? I still... Oh, you gotta cut it again then. I mean, more than just a little... Okay. Can we get it dirty? <laughs> exquisite hissing that accompanies the dissolving of dental enamel. You're not supposed to eat chips in bed. <laughs> okay, just put chips in the bed. Why not? Jeez. Oh, This <laughs> is just the grossest. Can we put anything else in there? Look, Harvey, a sheet. Ick. <laughs> it's just gross. Can we pick it up I now? I can think of a thousand. I oh, come on. All right. Well, now that we've definitely been. Oh wait, wait, wait. Can we sign it? Perfect. Okay, so now that we've left our mark on the world, let's go, I guess. I don't know why we did that. I assumed we were being able to pick it up, but we can't. We're just assholes. That you or me? Those are some glitches, all right. Oh dear. This is not good. I'm gonna see if I can fix this. Be right back. Okay, got that fixed. <laughs> that was bad. Um, I had to reset the game, so hopefully it's fixed now. But then the glitch montage. 20 years from now. Oh, is that the blanket? Can I have the blanket? Can we go down? Yeah. We got dead. <gasps> Wait, we're on the third floor. Woo! Can I can I have a the the the, the ticket number one? It's a one. Yeah, called it. Wait, does that mean he's in there? Do not go into washing machines. It will kill you. Mr. Frog. He doesn't hear me. I can't tell those are bubbles or eyes. I'm gonna go with eyes amongst bubbles. So wait, who brought the blanket here? It's already here already. <laughs> cool, so now we are on the third floor properly. Has anything changed since we were last year? Probably not. Okay, so if we go there, I assume we'll get caught again. But, you know. <laughs> I guess we go back to the security guy. Hey, we got a lot more items now. Can we get some water? Hmm, empty. Oh, okay. So we need to get some water in that. Is there a, isn't there a bathroom here? The water's still running. <laughs> There's still a stain. Out, damn spot. Out, I say. I can't get it. Okay. What about the pan? It's clean enough. Okay. Uh... 
can't do that. The coffee pot is empty. be a klepto, but stealing someone's coffee machine is pure barbarism. Okay. That's not a beer tap. It's a chewing gum dispenser. Dispenser. All right. If you're so formal all of a sudden, I'll call you madam. <laughs> okay, then. Three weeks later. Kidding me? What's behind these doors? Oh, okay. Whoa, pretty dark. Spoopy. Good idea. <laughs> I don't need therapy. I'm in the best mental shape imaginable. Do you hear me, you piece of paper? I'm in the best imaginable mental shape! <laughs> Can we pick it up? Yes. What's in here? <gasps> Can we pick up all this stuff? What does this mean? The moon falls down to Earth. Who would write such a thing? Isn't there a handbook for that? Or secondary literature? I don't want to collect that. It's because it says, the moon falls down to earth. That's a message better left down here in the basement. The moon falls down to earth. Um, okay. One can register for therapy with this blank form, but the signature of the psychologist responsible is missing. Huh. Can we pick up folders? I'd need to know what I'm looking for. Let's see. Just another load of files. Hey, this looks useful. There's a list of the current inmates. It shows where I can find the corresponding patient histories. I seem to know some of the names. Well, normally I don't care much about files, but snooping around in other people's patient histories is so delightfully prohibited. So, whose patient history shall I look at? Oh, cool. Is this supposed to be a patient's history? I quote, Name, Bee Man. First pet, Black Pony. Characteristic, was always chosen first during physical education lessons. That's all. Okay, how is that supposed to be useful to us? Name, Adrian. King of the Recreation Room. First pet, Red Cat. Characteristic, was always chosen second during physical education lessons. That's all. Is this a code or something? It's supposed to go B-Man, Adrian, something or other? Like how they were chosen in PE class? Name, Drogglejug. First pet, Green Dog. Characteristic, was always chosen third during physical education lessons. That's all. Dogs don't come in green. Hair doesn't come in green. What is this, unrealistic hair day? Name, Peter. First pet, blue goldfish. Characteristic, was always chosen next to last during physical education lessons. That's all. Name, Hottie. First pet, yellow rat. Characteristic, was always chosen last during physical education lessons. That's all. All right, lovelies. Um, that's all the names there. And I'm thinking we're going to call it the here for today. Um, so yeah, I, obviously that was a code. I should have written that down, but I didn't. It's going to bite me in the ass later. Um, 
So yeah, thank you for watching. Please join me next time. I please like and subscribe. I love you and bye-bye.